Hi guys, welcome back to Mummy Cooks Homemade and this is the oven baked risotto. Later today the lemon and lime tart will follow. So preheat your oven before you even start doing this. 200C gas 6 or 180C fan. We use chicken on this day. Add what meats you want to add. I've used all sorts. I've used prawns, um, chorizo, bacon and pea. Just use whatever meats you want to use. Just make sure you cook your meat properly, obviously. So we use chicken this day. We've got to say we don't prefer chicken. We prefer bacon. So that's what we will probably have from now on. Garlic. It's not cloves. I crush this up and put it back in the bag. And it will come out. <laughs> Honestly, I think the best risotto is the bacon one myself. Or bacon and prawn, bacon or bacon and treat. So, but definitely bacon. It gives it a lot more flavour. There I go with some treats though. <laughs> but you can see it's not a lot. I've put that in for extra flavour. And again, add the amount you want to add. If you like a lot of meat, put plenty of meat in it. If you just like a couple of bits of meat in it, or you're trying to cut costs, that's fine. The important thing is the amount of rice to water for this to work in the oven. And I'm using a good non-stick pan. So I got this. That's what it is. Hoping that it will be as spicy as the stuff that I got from Gusto when I used to get Gusto. So I used about four, tw no, there it is. That's all I used. Thinking it would be really spicy and it isn't. So, I used more in another recipe that I did and it still wasn't spicy. So, I don't recommend this one to you. I was going to do, but I'm not going to. It didn't have as much flavour as I hoped for. So, I'm not going to recommend it to you. It, because it, it'd be wrong. <laughs> Simple as that. It'd be wrong for me to recommend it to you when it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. I mean, we're still going to use it. And you can see what it does look. It melts down and it adds flavour, supposed to, to your dish. Yeah, we was a little bit disappointed with this. It had great big chunks as well of um, chilli flakes and such in it. It has a casing on like um, chorizo. So you just peel that off the same as you do a chorizo. But yeah, I'm going to have to look and see if I can find another one. This stuff it is pricey, but if you get one that's spicy, just showing you that it's dissolving, then out of that 400 gram block, you would probably need to only use about 20 grams per meal. And you could freeze the rest off in portions. So it works out pretty cheap that way, if you see what I mean. But this one, unfortunately, is not the one. In my opinion. And I'm a wimp with spice and I, I could hardly taste it. And the same again when I doubled the amount in a different recipe. I still have problems picking it out. So, yeah, I don't recommend this one. So, I always add mushrooms and onions to my risottos. Again, you don't have to. Add in what you want. These don't have to be fully cooked before it goes in the oven. The meat only has to be half cooked before it goes into the oven because it's going to have 18 to 20 minutes inside the oven. You just start it off on the hob. You 
can see on that piece of chicken, a piece of chili. That's why we thought maybe it might have a bit of spice to this, but no. I'm glad I put the um, chorizo in there. So this just cooked away for a couple of minutes. So the important thing is this is going to serve two to three people who eat a normal size portion. Or two people who like a good old bowlful. So we use, how much risotto? 300 grams or 10 ounces of risotto. And all you want to do is just coat it in all the flavoring. We use normal stock here because we didn't use bacon. If you use bacon, I'd use reduced salt in 750 mils or one and a half pints. And all you're going to do with this is Steve wants his tomato. <laughs> all you're going to do with this is bring it up to a simmer on that, that pan. And the peas, if you want to add peas. These are all, you choose what you want to put in sort of thing. The most important thing is the risotto rice and the amount of liquids to make this work in the oven. So you can see it's just starting to come to a simmer. That's the parsley that I chopped up and froze that I got from Mulaco. So now it's coming up to a simmer again. I've turned the heat off. I'm putting the lid on and it'll go into the oven now on that temperature for 18 to 20 minutes. And you don't have to touch it again. I always leave it with the lid on outside the oven for a couple of minutes when I take it out. And basically after that, maybe three to five minutes of doing it on the hob, instead of half an hour of stirring and ladling liquids in it's cooked for you in the oven you can see the veggies have all cooked down liquid's gone but it's not dry we we really do like risotto but we're not big fans of it with chicken as we found out i do recommend bacon and pea really do or gammon. We've done gammon as well. So yeah, as easy as that. I'll link it link it below the measurements. I'm just gonna put the measurements for um the rice and the timings and the liquids because the other stuff you can put in yourself. I don't really measure when I'm making it. So thanks so much for watching. Hope this helps some people who can't really stand at the cooker for too long. Make sure it's a non-stick pan, guys. And I'll see you later on today with the tart recipe. Bye.